how to change your domain name in Hostinger. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can change your domain name on Hostinger. Now, oftentimes people might choose to rebrand in the initial time of their business or if you're choosing to change the spelling of your business, then having your domain name being changed can be a really long and excruciating process because you have to first get your customers used to the new domain then forward your domain so we're going to be covering one aspect of this and that is going to be to actually purchase your new domain and how you can change the old one so for this you have three routes okay starting off at route number one we are going to go into hostinger this is our particular domain so it's called the spencer brand is coming dot shop now there are three ways you can do this first off is basically there are two ways but first off is just to give up because there is no direct way for you to change a domain so you can choose to change your domain on a website but you cannot necessarily change your domain name in itself. So if I have a website that is associated with a domain, then I can switch the, web, the domain name for that website, but I cannot swap my domain name. So that is option one. Option two is to directly go into your domain portfolio. Okay, this is my current domain. Then you're going to turn off auto renewal. And then you're going to disable auto renewal over here. This means that on the particular expiration date, your domain name will expire. So this is uh, 22, 2, and 26. So in one year, my domain name is going to expire. I can click on manage and I can forward this domain. So if I have a website running on this already, I can forward it as well. And currently this domain has been has become inactive. Now, on other platforms like GoDaddy, you usually can sell your domain as well. But for hosting it, that's far too complicated. So I just recommend turning off auto renewal. Once you've turned off auto renewal on your original domain, then go into get a new domain over here. Once you go into get a new domain, you're going to type in your desired domain. So Spencer Brand is here. Let's say that's the domain I want to use now. So you guys can see I have a .com version available, we have .tech version, so we have a bunch of different domain names that are available on Hostinger. And you can proceed with the other domain that you want. You can click on buy domain. And just like that, you can purchase a brand new domain to change your domain name and then transfer or domain forward. So let's say this is my new domain name, spencerbrandishere.com. I would go into my original domain and then and then once I do that, I can see over here we can create a website. We have a professional email we can try out. So I would forward your domain to an existing website and I would just paste in my uh, new domain and I would forward my old domain to my new domain. This allows a more seamless integration from your old URL onto your new URL. So you can transfer that as well. Now, the third way to change your domain name, if you are looking to, you know, just switch your domain name and it's not about your website, it's about your domain. So let's say we've built a website, we can click on get hosting and we can see the different hosting plans that are available on hosting as well. So the third option is to actually get in touch with Hostinger's customer support. You can click on the bottom right over here and you're going to describe your issue. So it's going to be, I want to change, change my domain name like this. And then this will open up a couple of different answers from customer success team to another domain. I will have to purchase, how to cancel, set up domain and hostinger. And you guys can see there are a lot of different web articles renew an elsewhere registered domain, move content to another domain name. But if you go into this particular article, you will see how to change a domain. So if you use the hosting your website filter and you want to connect a different domain, you can do so. But if you are someone that is just looking to change their domain, generally once registered, a domain itself cannot be changed or edited. 
So you wouldn't be able to give up an already registered domain and register another one instead of that. As an alternative, you can register your new domain separately. However, you still have a little bit of leeway where you can click on start live chat. You're going to choose your account, select your subscription. So if it's regarding this particular domain, let's say I misspelled something. So instead of Spencer, it was just Spence. And then I can click on start a live chat. Once I do that, also try to ensure that that particular domain is available. So my current domain is the Spencer brand is coming dot shop. I would just search for the Spence brand is coming dot shop to see if my alternative domain is available and if the pricing is similar. So the pricing for this domain is the same as the price for the domain that I've already purchased. I'm going to send them a message and I'm going to be like, hey, I misspelled a word in the domain I purchased. I want the correct spelling domain is worth the same price could i possibly have it changed question mark just like that you can ask them if they would be kind enough to switch your domain keep in mind that the domain name provider is under no obligation to provide you this switch because when you do register your domain it becomes a finalized transaction it cannot really be undone sometimes this is successful where they're going to say hey um it's still refundable you can request a refund you guys can see in your paid invoices section once refunded you can register the correct name we're going to go into our paid invoices and you can simply go on ahead, ask for a refund. I understand that all of my services will be canceled immediately. Then we're going to click on next. You're going to select your reason because business name has changed. I misspelled my brand name. It's actually Spence, not Spencer. And then we're going to click on next. I want it to be my original payment method, which is going to be via my card. And then after that, you will have a summary and you're going to click on submit request and you can get a refund for your domain and then purchase your other domain once you get refunded or purchase it anyways. Or you can even directly go for hosting or credit because if you choose to get refunded via hosting or credit instead of the card payment, the credit shows up instantly in your hosting or account and then you can move forward and purchase your new domain. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.